Hey everyone, this is a brief guide on how to get registered for Realm. To begin, the church will send you an invitation. If you are new, we may not have your email on file, which means we won't be able to send you that invitation. If you have any questions or need help or want to give us your email, please call the church office at any time. Open your email and find your invitation. It will come from a slightly funny email address, notifications at onrealmmail.org. If you can't find it, always a good idea to check your spam folder. The email will have a personalized link meant just for you connected to your Realm information, your member record. The next step is to create a password. Your username will be the email this invitation was sent to you. And you can change or update your email address or your password at any time. Realm will ask you to confirm your password and prove that you're not a robot. You're in. Of course, there is an app for that. It's called Realm Connect for our church. Or you can just continue in the browser for now using the blue link at the bottom of this window. Once you're in, the first order of business is to update your profile. In the top right corner, you should see your name and initials. Click there, and then in that menu, click My Profile. When you first come to this page, some of your information may already be there. We did our best to pull over data from our previous church database, but the conversion wasn't perfect, so please check your profile carefully. To get started, click Edit Profile. Your profile is divided into two sections, contact information and personal information. For contact information, you can go ahead and enter your address, phone number, email address, and under personal information, you can add things like your birthday, emergency contact information, and your pronouns. When you're done, select Save on the top left. Next, click Manage Privacy. You control who has access to what information. Presently, the default setting will be that all of your information will be visible only to leaders and groups and serving teams, which means that your information won't be visible in our online directory. In order for your information to appear to your friends and neighbors, you will need to select anyone in the church, or you can select custom privacy and select what information the church and your neighbors can see and what you would like to keep more private. If you remember back, your profile information was in two categories. You can select your privacy preference for each item in your contact information individually. And for your personal information, birthday, pronouns, baptism date, you can decide your preference for all of it in one shot. When you're finished, select Save at the bottom. If you have any family you'd like to add to your household, click Add Family. You can also upload a picture to Realm. Remember those old picture directories with the family portraits with all the kids in elementary school, except now they're in high school? Well, now you can update your profile as often as you get a haircut. Click on your image to update. Now that you've set up your profile, it's time to explore Realm Connect using the menu options on the left. On the top, News gives you access to information and activities of the church. This is almost like a Facebook timeline, without all the annoying ads and glamour shots of your high school nemesis on a beach in Hawaii. On the bottom, the directory. This will allow you to look up the information of your church family, assuming they manage to set their privacy settings to anyone in the church. In the middle, giving. This allows you to access your current progress on your annual pledge, along with any other gifts or donations you have made in the year. If you haven't made your annual pledge, you can even do so right on the app. Though, don't enter any old number until you've read and studied the Stewardship Campaign materials and chatted with God about what this church means to you. And it would be a kindness if you could also complete a pledge card. We're still getting in the hang of Realm, and we might miss it if you pledge only online. And then we'll forget to express our gratitude for your generosity. Rest assured, your pledge information and your giving history will never be made public. That will always remain confidential. 
You may have noticed when you clicked on giving, the bar at the top changed color. We were in Connect, where all the news, contact information, and eventually some volunteer opportunities, you know, all the things that help us, well, connect are located. Your giving history, however, is in Realm. To swap back and forth, click the top left. If you've already set up your profile and need to make changes, you can find the Edit Profile and Manage Privacy buttons on Connect. Use the top right-hand menu. Under My Profile Views, select Connect. To log back in, visit onrealm.org. That's probably enough for your first outing. If you have any questions at all, anywhere along the way, please be encouraged to reach out to the church office or to one of the pastors. Thank you, and God bless.